Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. I need new music. This is the JJO Discover New Music Podcast. I'm feeling out of my mind. Oh God, I feel so alive. gotta say danny it sounds so regal it sounds very proper so from beverly east riding of yorkshire england sir danny warsnop danny how are you my friend very good uh wikipedia did do you dirty though because i know oh, <laughs> no Wait, so what, what would the proper title be then what what would i what would i, I have to say i was i was born in a hospital there and other than that i've never been you visited shortly and then you went back to a different spot all right yeah <laughs> Well, good enough. Either way, uh, you know him more as the lead singer of Asking Alexandria. Danny, uh, first, before we get anything done, happy belated birthday. Just Thank turned you. 32. How does 32 feel? 33. 33. Oh, 33. You're killing it today. <laughs> man, oh, man. Everyone's, I, no one's updating anything. I guess I didn't do the math. Oh, 1990. Wow. 90s, baby. Turning 33. I bet you that made some people feel a little old. Well, speaking of feeling old, how does 33 feel then? It feels a little hungover, I'll be honest with you. Just a little? Just a little bit? <laughs> yeah, we, were, uh, we had a day off in Pensacola, which is where my offices are. So uh, we had everyone over trying all the tequila and the seltzers and all the other stuff. Long night. <laughs> the only problem is it just gets worse the older you get, of course. They're just, yeah. you know, younger you <laughs> handles it, no problem. You wake up, you're bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. They get worse as the birthdays get older. Okay, well, happy belated birthday, 33. Uh, before we get to new music, too, I also have to share this story, and I tell everyone about this. Anyone I meet and we talk asking Alexandria, this happened probably, I believe, 11 years ago, 11 or 12, Springfield, Missouri. My then fiance, now wife and mother of my child was convinced by you, Danny Warsnop, to lay on a stage and let a stripper pull a dollar bill from inside of her pants. And I have to say thank you, Danny, for that. That was very nice. That was very nice. Very welcome. <laughs> Keep All right. Roll. Yeah, that's right. It was good. Eighth studio album. Where do we go from here? Dropped August 25th. Very exciting. You guys are seasoned veterans at this point. You know, you've done work with other artists, solo stuff. You've been in the studio. What maybe stood out in making this album? Where do we go from here compared to some previous works? Was there something maybe that that, that stood out a little bit more? Um, I got to do it in my studio, which was nice. Um, it's, it's a little bit of sweet now because I'm actually moving uh, that studio. So that, that was now the only album that I wrote. I, I built that studio to record this album, basically. And then other than that, I mean, the album creating process for us is usually a very personal one. And this one, this one wasn't. We kind of went into it with with a play by play that we knew what it was going to be. It, it felt more like working it as a job, which kind of <clears throat> I don't say in a negative way because it, it, it kind of removes any creative blocks and it removes a lot of the questions about exploring sounds and the creative space to where it's like cool we have a box to work in now for you did and again that you said you're not saying that in a bad way was that easier in making this album did it, it provide more challenges having that out that rigid outline more so i mean it, it it of course comes with inherent challenges but i think all in all it made it easier it definitely made it faster yeah because you're going you're going in with an with a pretty clear idea of already of what it's going to be it, doing the home studio. And obviously that's nice to you because roll out of bed and go right to your studio. Yeah. W- what were uh, maybe some things you didn't expect having it there at the home studio? I, was it all good? It was, it was all good. It was all easy. Yeah. Really smooth. I think we did it over like eight days. Did you find yourself maybe tinkering a little bit more? Cause it was the home studio when you did have the pro- uh, project done. No, I did. I did use it as an excuse to girl math my way to buying way more studio equipment. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> uh, I, I, I used it to justify a bunch of those purchases. Um, so, that, I mean, tinkering in that way a little bit, but as soon as I get like a vocal chain dialed in, mm-hmm. it pretty much stays there and I don't touch it. Talk about the eighth studio album. Is that maybe also kind of the maturity of the band coming through there and just knowing what you're looking for, what you're finding it, and just now after having the studio time that you had, maybe a, a more mature mindset going into it? Maybe. It was definitely... Uh, 
a more educated place. Yeah. Um, we did a lot of research into kind of what had worked over the years to blend all that together. Uh, ultimately, we just wanted this album to be a, a good representation of the last 15 years, which I, I suppose does require a bit of maturity in the outlook because it's, it's, of course, easy and fun to just go in and be artists and just create something new. I th- it, just, it just felt like the right move for the band at that time kind of going along with that and, and the sound of the band and where you're at in that creative space with what you've done, all the exploring throughout the years, you said 15 years, which is crazy right there. Where does this album fit in, in the library of asking Alexandria in the eight studio albums, where, where would this one fall in the sound of you guys and, and where we've seen you go throughout the years? It's got It's a bit of everything. It, it's kind of its point. Instead of it being its own chapter, it's more of uh, everything that's been up until this point. So it's kind of a little, almost a spacer to where it's, it bookends that, those 15 years. And I guess it gives us space to figure out what the next thing's going to be. Right. Uh, do you have a favorite track on there? Is there one maybe that really speaks to you, one that really reaches out Title to you? Track. Yep. Title, Title track. Title track. Which makes sense because it was referred to as the Danny song. It wasn't supposed <laughs> to be on the album. I was actually writing it for my next record. And then everyone started calling me saying they felt the album needed the Danny song. It needed the the moment where I do my thing. I was sat writing that song when they called and said that. So it was kind of serendipitous. It was the universe pointing me in the direction. Listen, rate, share, subscribe. Discover new music now at WJJO.com in the JJO app or wherever you get your podcasts. Rock has a new interview every Thursday evening between 6 and 7. 941 JJO. I need new music. This is the JJO Discover New Music Podcast. Feeling out of my mind. Gotta feel so alive. I know I'm not gonna die. Where do we go from here out now from asking Alexandria? What's kind of on the lineup? I know you guys uh, are going to ride this out, hit the road, do all that fun stuff. But as you continue to build, uh, what can we expect next uh, next from asking Alexandria and, and Danny Warsnap? We're working on tours for next year. Um, hopefully we'll have those lined up and announced in the next couple months. We're, we're already kind of starting to think a little bit about music. The album's obviously super fresh still, but uh, we're definitely thinking about music and kind of piecing a couple ideas together to figure out what the next thing is. As far as my stuff, I'm going to be starting to release in January. Um, I'm going to re- put out a track every month next year and then close the year out with a double album. Jesus! Um, <laughs> and hopefully, yeah. <laughs> And hopefully uh, do at least one tour of that as well. Right, right. Well, good. Glad you're staying busy. Well, I guess that's kind of interesting, too, because you said getting this album done so quickly, there's probably not as much burnout as as some people have have been experiencing these last two years and burning through that. Still that fresh new album feeling to it. Yeah, I I mean, I'm in the studio a lot anyway. Yeah. So left to my own devices, I would never go on tour and I would just pump out a new album every few months. Right, right. Um Unfortunately, people want to see me in person, so that I get an option. But you know, you got to get all the fancy dress clothes on and get up on stage. Yep. Fancy up. <laughs> it's just so good, though. It's just so good. Well, we can't wait to hear more. We can't wait to just bask in the latest from asking Alexandria again. Where do we go from here? Out now. Go get it. Go see the guys and uh, get that fixed. Before we go, all right, let's do a rapid fire. Easy peasy. We'll get to know you a little bit more. There's no wrong answers. Of course, now I, I was I was 0 for 2 from what I got from Wikipedia, so we'll see how this starts, but let's yeah. just go easy. Full English breakfast or American breakfast? American. All right. I was hoping you say, I know we've gotten you a little I am, bit. I am the most... Uh, but I'm just I'm just an American with a funny accent at this point. Is it? <laughs> we'll take you, man. Uh, okay, fine. Then this one should be easy. A Wham bar or a Snickers bar? I don't do either, but I'd probably say Snickers because I don't know what a Wham bar is. That's, I looked up English candy. That's all I did. So good enough. Maybe we'll go with the Snickers bar. Everybody Wang Chung tonight or everybody was Kung Fu fighting? I know everybody was Kung Fu fighting. I don't know what the first one is. Everybody have fun tonight. It's by the band Wang Chuck. You never heard that one? You should listen to oh. it. It's a good one. Okay, so stuff to do today now. Yeah, you got a song. To, it's it's Wang Chung is the band, but I'm guessing you're going with Kung Fu Fighting on that one. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, would you rather have uh, soaked jeans or damp socks? 
Oh, suck jeans. Damn socks is the worst thing. Would you rather fight a man with bear arms or a bear with man arms? A man with bear arms. They'd be very heavy. They'd be so slow. You thought that was good. You thought that went through. I like that. All right. Yeah. Now, this one is it caused a lot of controversy as of late because of the breaking news. Would you rather see Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? Oh, well, did you see the thing about the Loch Ness Monster? That, that's that's what I was just saying. The new photos that came out. Yeah. I'm talking about the one where they say it might be a whale penis. So that now that is the, the original theory is that it's a whale penis. And because whales like to when they breach the water, they'll just have yeah. their penis out. And so it just kind of looks like that. Right. So yeah. I have to go Bigfoot. This guy's going to be so interesting. Right. Have you ever felt like you've had somewhat uh, like felt Bigfoot in the essence? Have you ever? Not, big, not Bigfoot. I've seen a skinwalker. Really? Yeah. It ran past my window at my my old house in San Antonio. Um, and I promptly got rid of that house. Oh, my God. I got goosebumps on that, Danny. All right. Good enough. <laughs> All right. Well, Danny, uh, thank you for humoring me. More importantly, thanks for talking new music again. Where do we go from here? Asking Alexandria. Danny Warsnop. Thanks, brother. I Listen, rate, share, subscribe. Discover new music now at WJJO.com in the JJO app or wherever you get your podcasts. Rock has a new interview every Thursday evening between 6 and 7. 94.1 JJO.